African Action Congress. Mm -hmm. That's late in 2018. I was not land DJs in Fumu Ipo, I really the Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, 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 I was I was I was In fact, I point to that I was 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 uh, as for us, you know, I won't, 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 I I want to do no job for independence in Nigeria or Minira Nigeria. To do what you mean, Nira is in Fuma. So, go to Africa on your money, Lati Bere, near one ocean, not in Paroque, as God, all day. But more, I love no more do my fat. I love she much for Minira. Ah, I want to do the leaders of tomorrow. I need a lot of Jola. Today, journalists <laughs> Ti won te ma gba odo laye ni party won to ba ju to ni won fe ki o won fe ki won to ku kakiri ton ni lo si wa kakiri agbaye pe awon mo 32 years old france omo 32 bobo canada e omo bi 40 eh to do 40 years old ni igba kan eh omo 39 years old o se president america john john kennedy Iba ko Obama ngon ko ti pe 50 to je president Clinton o ti pe 50 ko ti je president se won sha fi se ni pe awuro awon agbalagba asiko ti to ti odo ma ma je olore olore orilede wa to je pe orilede wa yi en to ma je president ki o je omo ti won bi after Agba o minera. Bobo awon to ju Nigeria lo yi awon ni problem Nigeria. Won lo si asiko ti to ki gbogbo won lo sin. Won lo ma toju awon omo omo won. Alright, I'm read omo ele showre. You've been around for some time though you lived partly abroad. What exactly have you identified as the problem of this nation and what are you out to fix? The problems are twofold. And most of the time, we talk about one of it. We talk about institutional failures, yeah. institutional problems. That's why our problems are reduced to roads, education, agriculture, healthcare, and all that. But there's a bigger problem, which are, in my view, foundational problems of Nigeria. How Nigeria was put together in the first place. All the 
nations that make up Nigeria. Did they agree? Have they come to the point where they now agree that we should be living and coexisting peacefully? And to solve this problem, you must address both. You must address the institutional problem. And my own solution to institution, um, sorry, foundational problem is to create a brand new constitution agreed upon by all Nigerians. You don't believe in restructuring? Restructuring will be taken care of in a brand new constitution. There is nobody who is proposing restructuring today in Nigeria that don't understand that the constitution now cannot accommodate a restructured Nigeria. In fact, most of the proposals for restructuring today in Nigeria are, if you go by the constitution, illegal propositions. And some of them might even be criminal to say that the constitution should accommodate what it cannot accommodate. So the legitimacy of that constitution is also in question. Nobody knew how the Nigerian 99 constitution was created. It was created by the military with a decree. We need a brand new constitution that takes care of all the issues that people are asking for in their restructuring plan. Because restructuring for a lot of people depends on where they come from. If you talk to some people, they said the state police. Some people said it's resource control. Some people say it's about devolution of power. They want to see more power in the local government. Are all these things in the constitution? No. And you cannot be amending the constitution every, every year and be making billions out of it. Do you know the person who is the chief amender of the Nigerian constitution? It's a word like that. Is that guy that is detained in London for trying to sell somebody's kidney, a query mandu. He has been amending the Nigerian constitution. That's his business, and he has made bills. They seized 46 houses from him after he was detained in London. So they were just using the constitutional amendment to make money. But the truth about amendment is that in amendment in law is that you can't build something on nothing. If there's no foundation for the constitution, you are wasting your time. So the other things, like I said, are institutional. You know, and that is where we come in as we have a sharp razor focus on how to fix security, power, uh, education, uh, how to fight corruption, take care of our people uh, in the healthcare sector, feed our men and women, our countrymen and women uh, through a vibrant agricultural policy and reduce the waste in government. We, we will go we, into yeah. all of these we'll as much yeah. as possible uh, to lead you into talking about some of these things. But one of the issues against your party and some other parties is the fact that many people have said AAC does not have the kind of structure that will give Shore the kind of you know presidency he wants. For instance, they will say in order for you to clinch the presidency in Nigeria, you need structure. Many people have asked, oh, how many candidates, senatorial candidates, of the AEC, you know, have these are issues. So they talk about structure. Um, do you see these as a challenge or not? My answers are twofold. The people that have structure, what have they done for you? <laughs> exactly. You know, they have done the structure or structural abuse to the point that they even mock you with what they call stomach infrastructure. Are you getting my point? So, the second aspect of it is that the structures of a political party, the structures of a political system, organization, are the people. That is why they call it democracy. Mm. And the people form their own structures and pay or give allegiance to candidates from time to time as it suits their own agenda. The structure you are used to or you hear about a lot is these transactional structures of the political parties. Election time, go and distribute rice. It used to be full bread. Now they said it's sliced bread. You understand? Onions, uh, you know, and then when the elections are approaching or election day, they give you two, two thousand, five, five thousand, depending on where you are. And then you will not hear from them for the next four years. Is that structure? No. And we have always said this. In fact, it was what we were saying in 2018 that people were mocking us. And those who were mocking us about structures in 2018 and 2019 are now saying that they don't need structure also. That's the position. That's the truth. 
the people should constitute the structure of any genuine political movement. That's it. Even mm -hmm. if you get elected, uh, it will say that. But to answer your question, we have pres we have candidates. Oh, you know, it's it's easier said than done. If I'm president of Nigeria, and you have transactional structures, even if all the members of Senate are my party members, they can still impeach me. They did it to Obasanjo. No, they did it to Obasanjo. PDP had the highest number of uh, uh, representation in government. They threatened to impeach Obasanjo, and they almost impeached him. You remember that? In fact, Obasanjo had to go come back home, you know, to the Yoruba land he hates so much, to come and, you know, ginger them, say, ah, if they remove our son, he suddenly remember that he's the Yoruba son, well, there will be fight too, and all those kind of things. Were they not the people in his party that also refused him to term? You know, majority of them were members of the PDP. So, my position is that any structure that is not rooted in the populace is not worthy to be called a structure. But that, if ojẹ <laughs> Uh, our own Nitel, our own Nitel in 1999 constitution, the 1999 constitution, constitution, our Jagudani, our own logo, constitution Nigeria, our own 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 Nigeria, our Nigeria, our own 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 and to call 1999 constitution early more. I want Olugu, no lost shape, but they don't call constitution. Or just you want to swear, you want the Obasan John Bakpo, I read. constitution to finish swear away. Photocopy and last song, see that, go ready to be a bed. Of course, I say, Bura, on the outside, what shall Paper possibly come into our object with constitution. Later, we to the present not shall print the not shall print the paper. Don't put the constitution of print the constitution 1999 constitution. But I'll talk about constitution. It will be a way of a lady in Nigeria. Who would a while of lower one roofing? Yeah, it will feel a good of while at lower one roofing. I will a roofing. I will look good. I will finish all. We are going to do it. So, Kiwani wants to say we found our Nigeria. I saw our little here. They are all a bear, no hand. Go see our monk, a bear or party as a pony land. I'm going to structure to tell our little monk with structure. They say I want structure a bill about. Let's give the people the opportunity to have an interaction. There may be one or two, three questions the people at home may want to ask. Okay, let's start with these. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Okay, Adinola from where? Yeah, from Lagos. You're welcome. Uh, I just want to uh, you know, advise my parents that this is an opportunity because they are to raise the one time opportunity. Since we had the Alifa in the media who has you know, the real interest of the people, uh, it, took, it took us many years before we had, we now have another leader who is Shore. And once Shore is no longer in the race again, I think Nigerians, and many, many, many more years. To have a leader who, has, who actually has the interest of people. So I've just given this opportunity to appeal to Nigerians to actually 
Okay, Adenola. All right, Adenola from Lagos State. Uh, thank you so much. The numbers to call to be part of the program in case you want to ask any question. The numbers are 0916-104-7698-0811-052-6487-0902-280-92-57. You can speak in any language of your choice, either you or English. So and say good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Okay, Prime Minister Shalashiku from the Jebuibo, mm. okay, welcome. Once again, let me thank you for the existing protocol that I have given in the morning. Thank you very much, Ibiya. Oh, thank you for doing this for us. You are no the one educating no. democracy through this project. Um, intending President of Nigeria, Mr. Shumure, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Good morning. I want to appreciate your effort so far. I have only two questions for you. Go ahead. My first question is this. With the present structure, if Nigeria is not restructured, do you think the youth you are clamoring for can ever get to position of authority? That is my first question. Yes. My second question is this. The Nigerian constitution, what is your take? Should we continue with it? Should we throw it off? Oh, a completely new constitution. Good morning. Thank you so much, Prime Thank you very much. And I had spoken about the constitution already before you called. That our constitution is illegal, is uh, ultra-virus, and it should have no effect on the Nigerian people. I will junk the constitution as it is now. I am not going to amend it because we can't build something or nothing. We need a brand new constitution. With regards to youth and restructuring, it is not restructuring that will bring youth to power. You can have the finest restructured Nigeria. If youths are not ready to take power, they will never get to power. Yeah. Youths have to decide that they want power. It is an anomaly that uh, young people, right, in their majority, will say they want power. And after it, a law was signed to have them take power officially, there is still no young person below the age of 35. I mean, there's 35 in this presidential race that we're in. I have not seen young people in their 30s able to afford to run for governorship. Mm. You know, because it's also a question of economic power before you can run for offices in Nigeria. And you now see a majority of these youths who want power following 70-year-old men, 80-something-year-old mm. men. And I must keep reiterating that I have no problem with old people because I intend to grow old too one day. But I have problem with old ideas. Mm. And that is what is killing Nigeria. I think Nigeria ought to have reached a point where it votes for leaders that are younger than Nigeria itself. Okay. I know that call is here. Hello, good morning. Nigeria 
to ba je pe awu lowo ti darapo mo won gba e pe o di dodo o o nfe je president to lo darapo mo ti eye ile lo darapo mo ndi e nigba ti o jo su to jo oro se eyin o ni ri pe o nkan ta wa enjoy pelu lakaye baba yen ko ni se se pe ko darapo mo won yen la se ni free education on la se ni eto ewo san tori to ba darapo mo won awon ti o fe won ni gba ni pe ko se nkan to se ni le Carol Jiri, that while ni eh mo so la no ngba ta lo six stakeholders meeting southwest pe to ba sha wo lowo mi o le ma joko nu station yi pelo yin tori bi temi ti wa londo state e mu la manda e ja la ban pa ko si ona ti ona abayo ti baba mi ba le fi san wo fun lewe ti mo lo ngba ta wa lo si university of lagos kini school fees 45 naira 45 naira e baba mi o ni on ya 20 naira on ni ke gbon abro won ko fun mi ni 10 on se apawe e po mo fi to ba je pe ni 1989 ti mo lo si university of lagos ti school fees in university of lagos ba je 1000 naira ngba e mi o ni le lo ko ni se se ki lo de fa ti e ko se chip ngba e awon baba wo lowo ni awon olori wa ni southwest lo je ko se se so ka ba dupe ti yan ba ni eh se bi o ba lo npa lo we pe ti yan ba wa owo lo sita to pade yi lo na ko pada sile tori ta ba ro wo ntan se bi yi na la ma fera all right i'm coming to my early show we will have just 6 more minutes to leave now your plan on the economy infrastructure agriculture education and other sectors you quickly want to sell it to the people within this our plans are based in what we call spice heat Mm. That is the acronym for our plans. Spicer heat, and it starts with security. That's the S. P is power, electricity, because there's no country in the world that's ever industrialized and prospered without electricity, energy. Infrastructure is I. Anti-corruption is a C. There, E is economic system that allows Nigerian to participate fully in the economic life of the country. You know. Uh, we have E that is, uh, um, sorry, we have E that is economy and R that is restructuring. Health is H, E is education, A is agriculture, T is tourism, and there's another final T which is technology. And an H that is mass housing. So that, that's, it. That's, that's the plan. And it's, it's broken down on our website. Shore2023.org. I, I quickly want to take you on, yeah. on the issue of power. Mm. How do you intend to fix it? It's very easy. But you know, if you're in Nigeria, you have the kind of leaders you have, everything is rocket science to them. But the technology around the development of energy has made it so easy that there are several sources now of getting power, cheap power. And one of it is. Um, this uh, solar energy that we are blessed with, which is free, that can be captured. A, if we have a state in Nigeria that's covered with solar energy cells, and it's just a state, it will power the whole country. So one state with solar energy across Nigeria, just one state, if we cover the ground of a state with those solar panels, it will power the entire 36. That's just solar. Hydro is still very much around and alive. Gas, we have billions and billions, if not trillions of cubic feet of gas in Nigeria. In fact, if we had serious leaders, this period of Ukraine versus uh, Russia. Russia war, we'll be making a killing from gas sales. Because that's also the future. But my own timeline for gas is also very short. Because if you exploit your gas for too long, you will get earthquakes from fracking. Really? Most, yes, most people don't know this. Uh, then it's uh, using uh, tidal waves, there's biogas, you can use corn to generate electricity. <laughs> this corn that we eat by the roadside. Uh, all of this and in and Nigeria? let me tell you the funniest one the waste generated by Lagos can power the whole of the Southwest. Just waste. Waste to power. Uh, have you sponsored some experts to go into research? Or is something you'll be doing? No, I won't be doing like the one that the guy that went to Egypt to go and learn how to do power. No, 
it's, it, the technology is also very available. The research is available. You don't need any too many experts. But do we have experts? Of course we do. For instance, we have an expert in the U.S. who is a major person in the development of cow dung to generate electricity. So instead of <coughs> instead of people killing themselves and running around with headsmen, we put the headsmen in a cow ranch. The dung generated by cows will be used to generate electricity. Say it everywhere that you heard it from me. You know, you know. One thing generate electricity. One thing she no more, no no. So book my malu to yak be kaki lo juti tiye. Kaku wansi no. In in no mama in no mama no to mama generate aya inle no. So ah ni ni last ma para wa kwe luwa mo headsman no ni malu because but nobody kwe be malu wano generate kwe wunja dembe. So I wala yowa ma kaki ni ni. So I solve problem headsman by putting a wo. I'm a baba wulo no de shingba ni akuna ni on the streets. Only cow ranch. If you don't pay any, can you call about saying, um, Obudu ranch? But Lulu and better, eh? Not to talk about the hotel, see. So I need, I won't load it, you won't need like I, on Lukobawa. Eh, oh, there, car, Runu, Kia Padassi, I want to see what you're bashing law. Okay, um, Taiwan, um, it's been approved that we'll go ahead with this program. All right, so we're not going to wrap it up anymore. Um, Comrade Moyes or Moyelisho will have the opportunity to talk more. He's spoken about what he will do. We'll look at education, we'll look yes. at the economy, and others. But let's take a breather at this juncture for the news at 10. We will be back. Uh, with, okay, uh, we've been told to go ahead. So okay. let's look at education. Yes. Let's look at education. What are your plans? Uh, beautiful ones on par. Education, can we also have your plans? So, the investment in education, yeah, the investment in education is what has been killing us. We are not investing in education the way we should have been investing. I mentioned the Southwestern Education Plan that I benefited from. My parents benefited from them. But do you know what happened? After the military came in 1983, the first thing they did was to divest of, you know, uh, from education. And that's what we are paying for today. And after the military came, the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank came after our educational system by making sure that education was officially defunded. In Nigeria, it was a World Bank policy. That's a big allegation. It is not an allegation. I was part of the people that fought against SAP. Do you know? Have you heard about, about a structural adjustment program? And one of the key requests for giving Nigeria loans when Nigeria got itself broke was that they should stop funding education. They should introduce school fees. I just mentioned to you that. If school fees of Union Lag was 1,000 naira during my time, I wouldn't have attended the University of Lagos. It would have been impossible. But you go around the country today, there are school fees everywhere. Then, instead of investing in public education, you now start licensing private individuals. A lot of private universities, you can't go to them without a million naira a year. So, how do you get somebody with any 30,000 naira a month? To send their child to a private school or to even send their children to school period at this time so we're talking education now we invest in education from primary to tertiary level you know why and i'll say this here is that the little education we give to our citizens who are the beneficiaries now the same people who say we should not fund education eight thousand doctors have traveled to the uk mm. Europe and America in the last three years. The same poorly educated doctors, they are now saving America. Hmm. They are saving. So, if you don't invest in education, how do you get the doctors to replace the 8,000? And as I'm talking to you, I'm sure there are other 8,000 doctors on their way. Architects, the worst, you know, and the highest demanded are nurses. Three, two weeks ago, they are now asking for Nigerian teachers. To go to you, uh, the UK, okay. they are going to be hiring your teachers. The teachers that we used to abuse, 
The teachers will say that their reward is in heaven. They are not going to get their reward in the United Kingdom. Why? Because we manage to even train people in the first place. Because the moment you have education, you are automatically you have automatically become a global citizen. Anybody that's educated can be employed anywhere. Do you know that also the most important thing about the way the world works now is that you can sit in this country, Nigeria, and also be a teacher in America. Mm. You can sit in America and treat somebody medically through what they call telemedicine in Nigeria. Because the world has become a global village. But in becoming a global village, our leaders have managed to remove us from that village by excommunicating us. You know, why? Let's look at the cost of even making buying data. In America, I have a phone, just one. And to use data, text, and everything, it cost me $30 a month. $30 is not enough sometimes to buy data. And in Nigeria, you need four phones to survive. <laughs> yes, you must have a phone that works where Airtel doesn't work. You must have one that works where Glow doesn't work. You must have one that works where MTN doesn't work. Some places MTN works text, but their data don't work. Why? Because we don't have regulation in those areas. But let's go back to education. Apart from just investing in education to take out 20 million kids off the streets, perpetually, we must invest not just in schools and infrastructure for education, we must invest in the students themselves. I have a plan to make sure that every Nigerian student who is in higher institutions in this country we get 100,000 Naira per semester. Per semester? Yes. For study years, study for grant for as long as you are in school. But I hope you finish in four years. How much again? 100,000 100, per semester. All right, thank you. Yes. And hey. if before you cry out, 100,000 Naira, it's just $120. Mm. Is that too much to spend on a student per semester when your accountant general is still in 150 billion Naira mm. per year? For that. Nibitora <laughs> ati ibeji re mi ta tun da le bayi ta won gbogbo ni konu a be konu a ton da le bayi to fin keyin awon oluko ti o je ti de wo ni basi si ra won nje eleyi tona se eleyi o ni ba ise eto eko orilede nigeria je eri awon olori wa ta awon olori mi o ni so po olori wa to re mi o si lara won ton jo lere olori le lori olori yin a di wa lori lede se bo wa wa kon wa lori lede a mo wa o gba ti awon to so lori eh so awa je awa ta mo mo rufin awon awon fiti oto so so to re mo se so pa won lori yin e ba binu ah pe mo so be amo nkan tu sele ni pe se oro asu ko ni di gbogbo pe won Strike for Osmer Osmer so. Ah, you do In fact, what you are the point to just be go wasi ya to learn some go ati asuno. Moshin moshin faraya. But you go to one bed. We one more more she ni. The details in so far. We oh 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 she part at last in one. We I want on jewelry Nigeria related in Nigeria. I won't run on one lost lay when B by E. A two run lost lay when Nigeria private school on law. I want more meanwhile to your pay what you want. Nile way giga. I want on your lost lay when giga on law private school. What is she ton? Oh, your cock will be logical come. That I want to one in the way giga public university pay. And it on lost the convenient university. Don't your wallet at the same time. What you buy? That's why I'm a show local. Phone. 
But I want to do the lady in Nigeria. I want to see you. to see you. I to see you. I want 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 to ko ni se se fun won lati ma ni loye eh ti awon ta won yo ba ti loye o ma difficult fun awon olore won lati ma se won suka suka all right um let me let's open the phone lines now go just a few more minutes on the program this morning yeah. and it's going to be about you at this time you want to ask your questions the number is 0916 104 Let's ask our questions within 45 uh, seconds. Let's start with this. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, man. Thank you. Look out to me. What's Before Obama became president, he had contested to become a House of Rep, a House of Assembly member in uh, Illinois. He lost. Obama's greatest record is being a community organizer. The reason he became a senator was because he gave a speech at the Democratic Convention hmm. after the September 11 attacks, where he said, "My name is Barack Obama." 
you probably never heard this before. It was that inspirational speech that led them to vote for him as senator. Before that speech, nobody has heard about Obama in the history of... I mean, people knew him, but it was just a speech that introduced Obama to the world. And he was senator, and then this, within a short time that he was senator, they quickly went to him and said, well, do you want to be president? Because you seem to have something upstairs. What I'm trying to say is that it is people with upstairs that people vote for, not people who were former governors, people who were former thieves. You understand? Hmm. The experience that Nigeria referred to, oh, go and be governor so that uh, we can see how you are doing. Right? If I'm governor, does it affect the entire country? If I have the capacity, if you can trust me to be a governor of a state, why can't you trust me to be president of a nation? Mm. What exactly is the difference? It's also a function of space. One is smaller One is than the other. other. So, and if I'm vibrating on a frequency that I have the intellectual capacity and the character to be governor, my goodness, you have nothing else to wait for. Vote for me to be president so that that can be applied to the entire country. Uh, and the last question, um, which is about, it's very important that we address that. Tourism. Yes, and uh, tourism. It is true that Nigeria is people's disability for comedy. We don't care about them. Our is don't even have a way to get on it with disabled persons. There's no office I know in Nigeria that you can enter it today. Maybe there are, but I've never seen anyone that has assistance for even people for accessibility to offices because we don't care about them. But what I would do is to ensure that all these things are taken care of. You want to get to an office, you get an employment, you are not discriminated against. And most importantly, that we have special funding for those who have disability. I don't want to call it disability because the people you call disabled people in Nigeria are the ones who win Olympic goods mm. and the able ones can't win. It's kind of bulging, it's fun and irony. Thank you so much, um, Comrade Omoyele Shore. Uh, we've been talking, having this chat with the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, Omoyele Shore. We wish you success in your endeavors on the February 25, 